I'm Peter Haddock here at Intermount, the Louis Gong green stand. Oliver Keats is with me, and we're talking green power, low carbon here at Intermount, Oliver. I haven't seen this one before. Here it is. It's the 820. What's the spec? What's it all about? Here it is. Yeah, this is our brand new 820 TE, six and a half tons, two ton payload and machine, and potential capabilities of 40 kph travel speed on the road. And so battery power, we've got to always talk about that. What's it, what's it got the power to do in a day? So in terms of operation, this one is fitted with our Ketel batteries, 310 volts, and runtime on this machine is anything from five to seven hours, dependent wow. on their application. Yeah, and shocking a, a lot of people. And of course, we've got a mobile charging unit We here. have indeed. So tell us a bit about this. This is our Energetica 30 kilowatt charger. Yeah. And we can use this machine, CCS2 connection, so it will fit all of our green machines on stand. Yeah. Uh, the unique ability about the 820, just to let you know, is that it has an onboard charger. Right. So you don't necessarily need the CCS2 system. We can use also the Type 2 connectors. So when this machine's traveling, roading, yeah, yeah. greater distances, you can plug it into a lowered domestic supply. So I can back this onto my drive, folks, because I've got one of those at my house. So Absolutely. It would be quite <laughs> yeah. interesting to see the big green machine there, but this is actually not the big green wheel loader. That one's behind us, folks. Come and follow me, because we've got to have a look at that. Come on, this way. This is the big green machine, folks, because this is the big one that we've been talking about before. How big is it though? And this is a real game changer, isn't it for you? This is our 870 HE. Yeah. It's the first one in Europe. Right. It is our largest fully electric BEV vehicle. Nearly 28 tons. Wow. In terms of, uh, in terms of operating weight, in terms of payload, you're talking seven tons in the bucket. Same battery technology as we use on our other electric machines. So same as the 856 HE. Yep. And we're, again, achieving run times of between nine and 11 hours. Nine and 11, right folks, this is really important because a machine this size needs to have the capacity to run big and for a long time because this could be in a quarry type application. This could be working really hard shifts. So therefore you've got that kind of level of capacity. You're just then docking it in, charging it up as well. That really makes this size worthwhile doesn't it absolutely this is the size that everybody's been waiting for so yep. this in, in a diesel equivalent would probably be in sort of the 250 to 300 horsepower category of machines yep. so heavy loaders working on stockpiles stockyards yep. truck loading all those different applications the machines moving around and this is what everybody wants they want to move more material with less carbon footprint fantastic folks but it's not all about the wheel loaders in the big green stand here. We've got to go and see some excavators as well. So it's time to say goodbye to you. Thanks again. So we're here now with the big news with Harry Meller, with the product director, no less, of the green stand. Harry, this is a big green monster of a machine. Yeah. And so tell me some of the specs, that's what people want to hear. What's the size, what's the capacity for starters? Okay, so this is a 22 ton base excavator yep. with the battery packs on there it gets up to about 24 tons right and uh, but obviously the batteries take up all the rear space yep um so the counterweight doesn't need to be as heavy on this machine because you know you're filling up that space with battery power we've got 423 kilowatts of battery power on this machine that's like a walking power station it's big yeah <laughs> or a crawling power yeah, station absolutely yeah and um, but we always talk about you know when you're fitting in batteries and things like that mm. we always talk about how potentially they'll impact visibility and, mm. and how you you put them into a machine like that yeah. it seems to me that that's not the case absolutely so you know if you go back to the white machines we showed in bias since 2019 right you know we showed it the big white concepts with super visibility yeah. and that has always been like with the td16 our mantra that we believe in safety high visibility yeah uh, this is actually our fourth generation of design for the Ooh. 922 fe right so you know we've come a long way in how we repackage this technology and how we get it to work and you'll see the bonnet line is the same as the diesel machine right. but you haven't got the exhaust sticking out so you know, we, we've really come a long way in how our expertise on uh, battery management systems, battery packaging can keep you know, a consistent design with great all round visibility, even better than a diesel machine. The other thing is when we talk about big machines like this, we, mm. we, we need to talk about power. Mm. We need to talk about capability. So instead of the engine 
What motor size yeah. have you got equivalent? So in our diesel machine, we've got about 120 kilowatts uh, motor. Right. On this machine, we've got a 165 kilowatt electric motor. Really? So around 45 kilowatts more than wow. you normally have with a diesel machine. Yeah. Obviously the pump doesn't really change because yeah, yeah. we've still got to balance its cylinders, but it means we can extract every ounce of power out of the hydraulics. Right, it also means, and we talk about these machines being mm. like workhorses now, mm -hmm. we talk about different attachments, buckets, yep. we're talking about capabilities for mm. hammers, we, you know, they can take this into a, a sort of semi-quarry environment, waste environment, yep. you know, all these different attachments now that need a lot of hydraulic mm -hmm. capability and, you know, the extra power, yes. it seems to me, you know, a bit greedy. It, it does, well, it, you know, <laughs> people need it, but the customers we've been talking to already, yes. yeah, we've had the aggregates customers, right. you know, we're, we've had the key accounts, but we've also got demolition and waste customers. Right. Yeah, so we're, demolition. you know, one of them, this is our, our 922 FE, yeah. but we've also got a 924 FE, which right. has got more heavy duty undercarriage, full demolition spec. Yeah. Um, so some customers want to take that machine. We're about to launch the high rise cab version of this machine. Oh, okay. So you can put it inside in waste setting as well. Yeah. So we're, this is a, this is just the start of this uh, product line, but it's going to keep expanding different options because People want green technology. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that is the story here. They might be big green machines, but they're there to work on the job sites and to take electric from the small mm. to the medium to the large and therefore help us, like Intermat's doing, mm. go to a low carbon future. So Harry, great to, to finally meet you and to God, see and the big green machines. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Peter.